NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently uncovered long-lived dust shells around multiple wolf rayet stars, providing new insights into the formation and persistence of cosmic dust. These dust shells, once thought to be short-lived, are much more durable and widespread than previously believed. Webb's infrared imaging challenges our understanding of how cosmic dust behaves, suggesting that WR stars play a significant role in enriching the interstellar medium, contributing to future star and planet formation. Wolf Ray W stars are a unique and massive class of stars that have evolved past their main sequence stage. These stars have shed their outer hydrogen layers, exposing their helium-rich cores. As a result, WR stars are exceptionally hot and luminous, generating powerful stellar winds that expel material at speeds reaching thousands of kilometers per second. These intense winds and radiation cause the WR stars to lose mass over time, with a significant portion of their material being blown away. Despite their role in stellar evolution, WR stars were previously thought to produce short-lived dust, which would quickly be dispersed by the harsh environment around them. However, recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope challenge this view. Webb's infrared observations have revealed that WR stars create long-lived, concentric dust shells that persist for centuries, contributing vital material to the surrounding interstellar medium. These findings suggest that WR stars, once thought to contribute only transient dust, are key sources of persistent carbon-rich material that could eventually contribute to the formation of new stars and planets. This discovery is a major breakthrough in astrophysics, as it expands our understanding of the cosmic dust cycle and how WR stars influence the chemical composition of galaxies. The carbon-rich dust produced by these stars acts as a building block for future stellar systems, enriching the interstellar medium with elements crucial for star and planet formation. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in December 2021, is designed to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to penetrate dense cosmic dust and observe faint, distant objects. This ability has proven invaluable in studying wolf rayate stars, whose intense radiation typically obscures direct observation in visible light. Using its mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, Webb has captured detailed images of dust shells around several WR stars, including those previously studied in the WR-140 system. What's remarkable about this new data is the discovery that these dust shells are not only common, but long-lived, expanding across vast regions of space. These findings suggest that the process of dust formation around WR stars is more durable and widespread than previously thought. Webb's ability to detect infrared light has allowed astronomers to observe dust in a completely new light, literally. The dust shells surrounding WR stars, primarily composed of carbon, suggest that these stars play an essential role in generating and distributing the raw materials needed for future star and planet formation. Webb's observations reveal that these dust shells are expanding at velocities of up to 2,600 kilometers per second, highlighting the dynamic nature of the material being expelled. The persistence of these dust shells challenges the prior assumption that such material would quickly be swept away by the intense winds and radiation produced by WR stars. Webb's findings show that not only do these dust shells survive longer than expected, but they also significantly contribute to the enrichment of the surrounding interstellar medium. The discovery of long-lived dust shells around multiple WR stars has profound implications for our understanding of cosmic dust and its role in the formation of new stars and planets. Dust plays a critical role in the life cycle of galaxies. It is involved in cooling and collapsing gas clouds, 
which eventually give birth to stars and planets. WR stars, long thought to contribute only transient dust, are now recognized as important long-term sources of dust that survive for centuries, enriching the interstellar medium over time. These findings are particularly significant because they provide a clearer understanding of how the materials produced by WR stars are recycled within galaxies. The carbon-rich dust created by these stars is crucial for the formation of new stars, planets, and potentially even life. The discovery that this dust can persist for such long periods challenges previous models of star formation and the recycling of interstellar material. Future research will focus on analyzing the chemical composition of these dust shells. By studying the spectra of the dust, astronomers can gain insights into the specific elements and compounds present, deepening our understanding of the chemical processes involved in the creation of stars and planetary systems. Additionally, the discovery opens up new questions about the role of WR stars in galactic evolution. Understanding how these stars contribute to the enrichment of galaxies will help refine models of how galaxies evolve. The persistence of these dust shells raises new questions about the long-term effects of stellar winds and radiation on the surrounding material. Do the shells contribute to the overall chemical makeup of the galaxy? or do they eventually get incorporated into new stars? These questions will guide future observations and research, expanding our knowledge of the processes that govern the universe. The discovery of long-lived dust shells around multiple Wolf Rayet stars by the James Webb Space Telescope significantly reshapes our understanding of cosmic dust and its role in star and planet formation. Webb's groundbreaking infrared observations have revealed that WR stars contribute not just transient dust, but long-lasting, carbon-rich material that plays a crucial role in enriching the interstellar medium. This discovery opens up new avenues for research into the chemical composition of dust and its role in the broader cycle of galactic material.